This is Hazel. In many ways, she is similar to the other dogs we've rescued here at Army. We brought her from a dangerous, horrific situation into a loving home. But Hazel had a different past than her other rescues. She was rescued from the dog meat industry in China. Like many of you, we knew about dogs being eaten, but we had no idea of what we were about to uncover. So we partnered with Mark Ching in order to reveal the truth, and he went to China to see it with his own eyes. And you walk in and literally there's walls. And they nail gun like, oh, oh. they nail gun the arms of the dogs into the walls. They just torture him. And it's just, it's, I mean, it's, it's unspeakable. They believe the adrenaline released during torture makes the meat more tender. And they pride themselves on who has the best torture methods. You know, in this one place, they, they, they have like this pepper that they make, they like inject it into like the dog's fingernails and they'll poop all over themselves. They'll cut the eyes out of like a puppy and they'll burn them with a blowtorch. And then they have these prongs that they stick, stick to their throat and they boil them alive and, and they do that so they can't drown. And so they'll, they'll increase the heat slowly so they'll, you know, it takes like 30 minutes to boil them. Their screams do not penetrate the darkness of their cages. Until now. Mark posed as a meat buyer for the U.S. black market to gain access to the dogs. Then we flew them home. And so these dogs that are coming, they've all lived a life that most of us can never imagine. Let's take them home. Three down and eight more to go. Any minute now, the next two land that you that you saved. It's like a dream come true. We got Happy here, the Bull Terrier, and, and our little Shepherd, and we've got two more later tonight. Yeah, so the shepherd that has like the mobility problems, usually when they bind them, they, they, they bind their paws and their feet. And so they usually stay that way for days until it's their turn to get their feet amputated. They actually cut the paws off and they dry them out like how you would, I guess, rabbit feet to make, I don't know, pendants or like Lucky Charms or something. If I was this dog and if somebody was electrocuting me or somebody had me in a box and was poking my eyes out. You know, the only thing I told them was, I'm gonna take you to a place that you're treated like children. Hazel has adapted very well in our home. She loves chasing the ball. She loves sleeping in our very comfortable beds. This is Charlie, and he's been living with our family. Charlie is like a really good and peaceful dog. I like to take him on walks with my sisters. Um, we adopted Lola. We are so happy she's part of our family. Lola loves to play with her ball. 
She is extremely social. She loves to give kisses. Army wants to make it possible for all of the dogs that are left behind can live the dream that Hazel has. And now, with Army's campaign, Dogs in the Dark, a revolution is beginning to end the suffering and bring peace to those who have known nothing but pain. Donate today to help us save more lives. And join us now to end the suffering.